All right, budget tablet laptop versus budget tablet versus the Microsoft Surface Go 4 versus Apple iPad 10. Let's compare them. First, the externals. The Surface Go 4 is Microsoft's new and improved tablet laptop that starts at $570, while the iPad 10 is Apple's entry level tablet with many features, starting at $450. Now, given that these two have different prices and different purposes, we'll see what happens in this comparison. But continuing on with their differences, their form factors. The Surface Go 4 is what I'd call a tablet laptop, meaning a laptop that can kind of act like a tablet, while the iPad is a full fledged tablet that can sometimes act like a laptop, but is really only focused on the tablet side of things. And the form factors of these devices definitely reflect their purposes. The Surface Go 4 sports a solid touchscreen display with a built-in kickstand, but also requires accessories to take advantage of its full laptop functionality, such as a keyboard and mouse, while the iPad also has a nice touchscreen, but does not have a kickstand, supplementing that feature with accessories that you can purchase in addition. Both of these devices are very nice to look at and should satisfy most users. However, the iPad does have smaller bezels, while the Surface is a little more dated since its design hasn't been refreshed for a couple years now. Moreover, numbers wise, the iPad is a little better with its resolution. However, for connectivity, the pendulum swings in the other direction. The Surface Go 4 in this regard is a bit better, especially given that it is a laptop, sporting multiple different ports, while the iPad only has one USB-C. That unfortunately also cannot be used for charging the Apple Pencil, meaning you'll need a dongle to connect the stylus if you get one. So point goes to the Surface Go. And back again on the flip side for cameras, that goes to the iPad. Although both devices have their own proprietary features such as different background blurs, the iPad by the numbers is a bit better. However, the Surface still should be effective for Zoom meetings and calls, so there shouldn't be any issue with that either way. So in summary, for the externals, the Surface Go 4 has a more flexible form factor and connectivity, while the iPad has a higher resolution display and better camera setup. Now let's move on to the internal. First, the internal specs. So given that these two are a bit different in terms of their functionalities and builds, this will not be as clean of a comparison. Because what you do with a laptop is typically different from what you do with a tablet. But even still, there is a winner in terms of processing power. The iPad 10 sports the A14 Bionic chip, while the Surface Go 4 rocks the new Intel N200 chips, which are both great. But which is better? Well, here are the single core performance benchmarks of these device configurations. And here are the multi-core. As you can tell, the iPad is just a bit faster. Moreover, I also want to add that for the best performance possible for most programs, optimization is the key. To which I believe the iPad is a little better in this regard, with the Apple App Store making sure most programs run fairly well on the tablet. However, in terms of being able to run pretty much any and every program, there's nothing better than Windows with the Surface Go 4. So for the best performance, the iPad wins, but for the greater flexibility, that goes to the Surface Go. And next, for storage, both devices are not great, but they do tie, sporting 64 gigabytes starting, which isn't great, but the Surface Go is expandable, and both can easily be configured with more at a premium before purchasing. Or you can just buy an external SSD if you'd like. And then for battery lives, both devices are fairly satisfactory. The iPad touts 10 hours on average, while the Surface Go seems to be getting about seven to eight hours on average for most reviewers. So both are great and can last for the majority of your work days. However, the iPad is a bit better. Additionally, both have effective security software, with the iPad having a fingerprint reader, while the Surface Go 4 uses Windows Hello. And lastly, for the operating systems, the Surface Go 4 uses Windows 11, while the iPad 10 runs iPad OS, meaning two completely different operating systems with vastly different designs, which will be the main topic of discussion in my verdict. But in summary, the iPad 10 is faster and has a better battery, while the Surface Go 4 has expandable storage. Now let's get on to my verdict. So budget tablet laptop versus budget tablet, which one to buy? Well, since we've been through this rodeo a few times now, I'll keep this short. Both of these devices are superb for what they do. The Surface Go is a portable Windows PC that can be used for non-intense work like presentations, spreadsheets, etc. While the iPad is more of a typical tablet, really taking advantage of that operating system to be used for drawing, note-taking, etc. Again, there can be some overlap between these two devices, but that's kinda how I differentiate them besides the big differentiator. 
the operating systems. Windows is purpose-built for versatility. You can literally do anything on that operating system with the Surface Go, given that it can run it. While iPadOS is very streamlined and simplified, meaning it's very well optimized for everything, that it's compatible with. So all in all, as I usually say, the decision really comes down to you and your needs. However, if I were to give some advice as to which one you should choose, I would say if you want a more laptop experience, prefer the freedom of Windows and or could use another computer, get the Surface Go 4. However, if you want a more tablet experience, prefer the optimization of iPad OS and or already have a computer, get the iPad 10. All in all though, this is just my opinion and there could be many other reasons for you to buy either device. So just make sure to check out both at your local best by to see which one is best for you. And that was my comparison of the Microsoft Surface Go 4 versus Apple iPad 10. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the tear. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.